Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Ironhide X. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a guide on the question I get asked the most, more than any other, is what mods do I use? Uh, I was going to just combine this into a video with uh, tips, uh, tips and tricks of warships, but uh, this ended up being so long that I'm just going to make it its own little standalone video. Um, so what is mods? Mods are things you can download for your game that give you uh, extra little things like uh, ship movement indicator, to see how my shells are different colors, stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to show you where to go to get the mods, I'm going to show you which mods I use, kind of give you a rundown of the different mods that are out there. Uh, I use Aslan's Mod Pack because it's super simple to install, literally you just download this mod pack, select which mods you want, click install and bam you're done you don't have to worry about moving files or anything else also wargaming is linked uh, linked to Aslan's uh, website before the all the mods he uses are completely legal you never have to worry about downloading a bad mod or anything like that uh, and Aslan himself uh, it's actually a guy named Aslan he updates these mods very regularly when a new patch comes out sometimes within just a few hours he's got his mod pack updated uh, I can't say enough or give enough credit to Aslan. He is uh, amazing at what he does, and his um, his mod pack is definitely the way to go. So his mod pack brings a collection of different mods. Now, he may not have made the mods, but he just brings them all together in one spot in his, in his nice little installer that does all the work for you, and you never have to worry about it. So that being said, I'm going to show you where to go to get them, uh, which mods I use, and give you a description of what they do. Uh, and just a general guide on uh, everything about mods for World of Warships. That being said, let's get started. Let's take a look at Aslan's uh, website and his mod installer, and uh, let's go through it all. So here we are at Aslan's website, aslain.com. You're going to want to click the World of Warships link. Uh, for the mod pack, you're going to click that, then you're going to go here. Uh, then you're going to want to click on the first links right here where it'll say the version number, just click direct or, uh, or one of the links there, download the mod pack, and then uh, once you do that, we're going to move on to the next step. Alright, so you got Aslan's mod pack downloaded and installed. Uh, right here, you're going to click run and whatnot, and when you get to the screen, you're going to click show preview window, and then click next, and next, and next, and there's your that's the default World of Warships uh, install folder. And then here we go. Here's a list of all the mods. Um, now there's too many mods here for me to just go off and list every one of them. Uh, so I'm going to just cover the ones that I personally use. Alright, so scrolling down under ship contour icons, these are the ones that just show you the um, in battle um, the icons that some of them show you like uh, different things and the, they'll show you information about uh, different classes of ships their torpedo range uh, stuff like that uh, the ones I actually prefer to use on this is actually these um, this one right here by deceased Daisy uh, either the light or the dark it's real simple uh, I use this one it back way back in world of tanks as well um, but it's real simple you can just at a glance uh, Get a quick rundown of the ship type because of the color and then the torpedo ranges. Um, so that's a really good one to use. Um, but yeah, just cycle through there. Or I've also used the one by Aslan himself. Uh, again, because he used to do that one in World of Tanks. Um, so yeah, just cycle through them. Pick which one you like. Um, I would definitely get one that has information on it though. So that way you can see torpedo ranges. Because, I mean, how many times have you been in battle... And you do see a destroyer and you think to yourself, gee, what, what's the range of his torpedoes? So you, I would choose one of those that shows the torpedo ranges and or gun ranges and whatnot. Um, player panel mods, I don't use any of these, uh, but they do a bunch of different things. Lots of information, uh, but I personally don't use any of those. Uh, crosshair mods, I, again, I don't use any crosshair mods. Um, more visible range finder. Uh, now this is one I use, and all it does is uh, it just makes this little um, your little distance to target and your shelf light time thing. It just gives it a better glow, and uh, I use the yellow one. Uh, but that's all that one does. Camera mods, 
lots of different camera mods. I don't use any of them because I just I just don't like them. But again, just cycle through there. You can pick whichever one you like. If you like to use different camera mods, you can have some that zoom in real far. Um, but again, I don't like messing with the camera because uh, it makes me miss shots because I'm just too used to playing with the default camera. So next up, we have the over target markers. Um, this is the thing where normally in game you have to hold alt to get the uh, the uh, enemy that you're targeting their name and hit points and their range all that stuff but uh, so I, I always use this one um, just pick whichever one you like if you choose to use this mod uh, I prefer this one right here HP plus Nick that pretty much at a glance gives you all the information about the target the name of the guy the name of the ship how many hit points he has and his range from you. Uh, now this one right here is a big one. It's called Ship Movement Indicator. Uh, if you ever look at any of my videos or my streams, you'll see uh, when I target an enemy ship, it'll have this little bobble over their head. It's real simple. Uh, there's three lights. You have the green light, the red light, and the purple light. So the green light means the ship is moving forward. The red light means the ship is stopped. And the purple light means he is going backwards. Uh, how many times have you faced a bow on battleship and you couldn't quite tell maybe he's getting shot so much whether he's going forward a little bit or backwards a little bit or if he just dead stopped this this mod lets you see very quickly at a glance whether he's going forward backwards or just pure stop so this one I highly recommend guys can't say it enough all right next up we have the uh, GUI customization ones um, on this one, I like to. These are just little, little things that change the GUI. It really didn't have any impact on the game whatsoever. It just little like flare, pretty much. You could cycle through here, choose all these different ones. Um, I like the Black Citadel version three red. It's got the little little crab guy, and so when you get lit, it shows whether you're lit by a ship, by a plane, or by radar or hydro. And um, that's the one I use, but again, just cycle through there, pick whichever one you like. Um, this one is the target lock modifiers. All it does, does is just show whenever you lock onto a target what color your uh, the little X thing that's over their, that's over their heads, what color that is. Uh, I just use red because that's what I'm used to using. But again, any of them work just fine. Compass elements. Um, I use this one. Uh, all, all this does is just changes the compass that's in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Um, I use number six under compass elements just because it's a little easier to see and it has the red north so it's really easy to tell you know which which direction you're going um, and it, it just looks cool and that's why I use that one. Uh, hits marker this will just show you uh, from what direction you're getting hit from. Um, I don't use it because there's already enough stuff going on on the screen and I just don't need it so I don't really use that one. Uh, torpedo warning indicator. This, Whenever there's a enemy torpedo in the water that is spotted, uh, it just gives you a little pop-up around your screen uh, saying, hey, look, the torpedo's over in that direction. Um, and I prefer torpedo warning number two just because they're the biggest and uh, sometimes I get distracted and that these pop up and hopefully I'll be able to uh, to notice them more easily just because they're larger. Um, ribbon badges, I don't use any of that stuff. It just uh, just changes the different ribbon things in game. No impact on the game whatsoever. It's just, um, just again, flare. Uh, by all means, if you like some of these, by all means pick them, but me personally, I don't use them. Uh, Minimap mods. Now I don't use uh, the minimap mods because uh, the in-game, the stock ones already pretty much have everything I need and uh, I don't really feel like these give me anything uh, and it's just me, my personal preference. I don't, I don't really like to use them because the, uh, the in-game ones are, are good enough. Um, now my port mods, this is one that people get, uh, that ask me quite a bit is how I, how I have all the ships on my tech trees. It'll show like all the, um, premium ships that can't be purchased or ships that are just not in the game yet. Uh, so that's extended tech tree. Uh, this is the one to click here, guys. When you have this one, it'll show you all the ships that are in the game file. So you can click on here and see all the, uh, 
premium ships that you can't purchase. Uh, so you can click on them and look at their armor and look at their different modules and whatnot. Like, for instance, right now the Enterprise is not out yet, but with this mod, it's in the tech tree and you can actually look at it and see, you know, it's a uh, fighter and torque plane loadout and all that stuff. So I highly recommend extended tech tree uh, mod here in Aslan's. Uh, I use that one quite a bit. Then you have session stats. Um, I used to use that, but uh, it's kind of wonky, so I don't really use that one anymore. Uh, here's another big one, clear vision. It's just whenever you click on a ship in the port that you don't have research, normally it's this gray color. But with this, it uh, it's all colorized, and it looks like as if you had owned the ship. And it just makes it look better. That's the only thing it does. Uh, but still, I really recommend that one if you're going to be clicking around and looking at ships that you don't have with this uh, other mod. All right, and let's see your port interface. This just changes the color. Don't use any of that. The dock appearance ones, um, because I'm so often running background programs like uh, you know video capture and whatnot, I uh, want to try to keep the game. Um, the resource hog of the game to the minimum so I don't use any port mods but some of these are quite cool uh, you could have custom ports uh, so whenever you go into the uh, end of your port you'll this is what you'll see uh, and then some of them are really cool looking uh, like I really think this Halloween one looks really cool um, the jacuzzi one where you're in a bathtub and you'll see your ship here and he's just in a bathtub I thought that one was really cool uh, lights of New York that one looks really amazing I mean some of these really guys look pretty awesome and if you're not running a bunch of background programs or if you have a really powerful computer um, I mean these don't make very much of an impact at all but I don't use them only for that reason but uh, if I wasn't going to be like streaming and having background applications going uh, at the same time because of my streaming and recording and whatnot I would definitely use some of those because some of them are really cool uh, especially a bunch of the different dry docks I think those are really awesome and so I would definitely use some of those uh, next section is flags. These just show some of the flags in game um, that Wargaming has not put into the game by standard for like the swastika and whatnot um, for you know political reasons. Uh, so me personally, um, I don't use them just because uh, I just want to keep down the amount of mods I have and just the general clutter. Um, and I really don't care what kind of flag is on the ship itself or anything, so I don't use any of those. Uh, the loading screen, I do use this one just because it looks so awesome. This is just the, um, whenever you first start the game, before you even log in, the screen that you see, that's all that is. But uh, I like the Battleship one. That one in particular looks really fancy. Um, and that's just some flair. Uh, the loading screen, this is like when you click when you click to log in, that's all that is. And then all these videos, some of them, again, guys, be aware, they're quite large. Um, but they just show you the uh, the little video that's in the background when you log in. That's all that is. Um, so here's another one I get asked about a ton. So this is Custom Shell and Tracer Contrails. Um, now I use this one right here by Butterkex. Uh, I, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. But this is... I feel the best one uh, just because I like to I like to keep stuff very simple and very easy and uh, this one's all it does it just changes the shells the colors of the shells AP is nice big bright blue HE is nice big bright red and with this you can very quickly and easily tell uh, if an enemy is shooting AP at you or be shooting HE at you or what kind of shells your teammates are using uh, so that's the one I use, but if you can look through here, they have a bunch of different kinds. Uh, black and white, you know, I just, I'm so used to the uh, to the blue and red, so that's just the one I use. Uh, you can also hide the contrails, so that all that shows up is just the actual solid shot, instead of the, um, if you look here, these actually have a contrail that, where it's a big line, but you could click this and change it to where all you see is that. Um, it makes it much harder to see your shells and where they land, but I uh, I have used it before in the past. I don't use it now. The only uh, downside for uh, not using this is that when there's lots of ships shooting at an enemy ship, if you're using this uh, this mod here, is that it can make it hard to see the ship. So if you have then if you click this one, it makes it much easier to see. But again, 
uh, I still I don't use it because I like the uh, I like the contrails. Um, and then again, here's some more different types of contrails. These show big lines uh, behind your shells, and this one will trace the the line of your shell the whole way to the target. Um, then of course the anti aircraft gun ones. Uh, I don't use any of those because that just is makes it too much on the screen at any one time. Uh, more visible torpedoes in the water and gun hits splash. Um, I use the blue style. It just makes the little contrail shot by the uh, by the torpedoes a little brighter, easier to see, uh, both friendly and enemy torpedoes. And it also, uh, whenever you miss with your ship, the splash you make. Um, that's all that one does. But again, I prefer the blue one. Uh, now another mod that if you want to go real super intense is the Arpe uh, Arpeggio uh, hit effects and it's like a um, it almost looks like a MMO AOE or something whenever you hit a ship with this it creates this cool looking bubble thing uh, I don't use it just because that's so over the top uh, and it ends up making it difficult to see things so I don't use that um, Fire alert frame that just hides their the fire that's on the outside of your screen whenever you get lit on fire. Uh, I don't use that cruise control. I use green mini 2.0 and that all that does is just makes this easier to see and your uh, forward and reverse thing easier to see. That's all that you all that's all that does and I use green mini 2.0 under cruise control. Uh, move GUI elements that just moves around some of the things here. Um, I like the stock configuration so I do not use these at all uh, alternative HP bar all that does is replace that it's just not necessary so I don't use that um, radio location this is for RPF see this here it's whenever you're whenever you RPF someone um, that's all it does is just changes the color to that I use the violet one there's only like one or two ships I even have that I have RPF so that one's really not big of a, a big deal uh, ribbons. Okay, now next one. This is another big one that I use that uh, I get asked a lot. So what this one does is uh, the navigator, and I click centered. Whenever you click on an enemy ship, it will show the angle that your ship is to the enemy ship that you have targeted and what angle he is at. So you could tell if he's slightly moving towards you or slightly moving away from you, um, and it just shows the angles. And I get asked a lot about this mod. So this is what it is. It's uh, Navigator. I use Navigator Centered. Uh, and that's what I use um, that shows your angles. Uh, again, the, the game has an in-game smoke counter. But I also use this one too, which is uh, better. It shows two circles over here in the corner. And it shows you your uh, when your first puff that you first went out, when that one disappears, and when your last puff. Uh, when your last puff will disappear and it's a little circle uh, like a little pie crust that goes away and also has a timer and I just like that one more than the uh, the in-game one that comes with the game uh, so I use smoke counter centered uh, for achievements transparent achievements if you go to your profile and look at all your different achievements all this does is it makes the ones you do not have it makes them transparent so it's easier to tell and if you've been playing the game for a long time, you have so many achievements that it's really hard to go through them. Um, and so I use the transparent ones just to see which ones I don't have yet. All right. So, again, there's lots of mods here. Uh, so we're, we're getting near the end. We're, we're starting to get there. Uh, again, I've skipped a bunch of them that I just don't use at all. Uh, custom battle loading screen. Uh, I use this one. Um, this is also why I don't use the contour mods that were way at the top that showed like torpedo range or whatnot, because this one also gives you all that. Uh, but this one's actually better. This one will show you the ships in the line out. It'll show you their detectability range, their gun range, and their torpedo range, all right here just by hitting tab in game, and it shows you all of that. And that's why I uh, I don't use the other ones that were up top, and I use this one instead. The uh, custom battle loading screen. So I would definitely recommend that one. Uh, info panel. It does the exact same thing as that one, but this is uh, just whenever you click on an enemy ship uh, down here next to your mini map, this will pop up, and it just shows the enemy's detection range, their gun range, their torpedo range, uh, their maximum speed, uh, how long their repair party lasts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I normally I've never used this one before, but you know what? I'm actually I'm actually going to. I'm gonna leave that one on and give it a whirl and see how it works. 
Uh, this one in the top left hand corner of the, uh, the screen, you'll see it up here in the top of the screen. All this shows is how much damage you do to enemy ships like whenever you hit them. It shows how, your total damage and like how much your last salvo did to that enemy ship. Um, it's just a, just cool little information. Like if you ever wondered, oh, I hit that guy really hard. I wonder how much damage I did. Maybe you missed the uh, the, the floating pop-up. Uh, you can just real quickly look up there and see how much total damage you did to that ship and how much your last shot did uh, to that ship. So I use that. It's called da Detailed Damage Indicator. All right, next up, guys, is the chat mods. Uh, I used Improved Chat Version 3. Uh, and all this does is it shows whenever someone types in chat, it shows the name of the ship. It shows if they're in a clan and the uh, their name. So you have their ship name that's typing, the, if they have a clan, and then their name. And it just makes it easier to tell, uh, like, because uh, I believe in standard chat, it just has their name. And sometimes I want to see what ship they're driving. And so I used improved chat version 3. Uh, it just makes for the chat. It does make the chat a little bigger because, um, I mean, not in size, but just the, the text because it will has that extra information. Uh, so even if they just say a single letter, it still shows you Shimakaze, clan, name, all that stuff. But still, I like that, so I used improved chat version 3. All right, so all these other mods coming up here, I really don't use very often. Um, or I don't use it all, like Commander Crew uh, Appearance. Uh, a lot of this is like anime type things, uh, which I just I don't get into that much, so I don't use any of that stuff. Uh, sound mods, tell you what, guys, right here. I slam it, you can suck it. The Family Guy voice back. Do you think we have a chance of winning? That's what uh, the, I almost always use this one. Uh, and I am going to click it because of the changes to ultimate sound. I didn't have it currently in game, but I love the Family Guy voice pack. That is so much fun, uh, and it has so many different things. Whenever you Citadel enemy ships, you know Quagmire will say stuff and all these crazy things, and uh, it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Uh, but it's not just Family. You also have the Duke Nukem. This thing sucks. This thing sucks. For different uh, things going on in game, it's Star Wars. Let y'all listen to that. Very cool. I, uh, a lot of these sound mods are really neat. Uh, then, you, of course, you have the Star Wars laser mod. <laughs> How awesome is that? Uh, whenever you fire your guns, uh, that, that'll have the Star Wars little laser things instead of the standard gun sounds. Uh, I don't use that because I like I like the uh, the realistic sounding guns, but uh, it is really cool. The one I use mainly though is Family Guy, and just because I'm a big fan of Family Guy, and it's just awesome. Uh, torpedo warning voice. This just shows whenever enemy torpedoes are in the water coming towards you. This will give you an audio audible warning as well. Uh, I don't use them because they they just go off so often, but a lot of people do use them. And then here we'll preview some of them real quick. Or not. But anyway, whenever a torpedo uh, pops up, it just gives you a little dun 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 dun. That's what the Jaws one does. Uh, but again, because there's so many torpedoes, it goes off too often, so I don't I don't like them. Um, ship skins and appearance. These is just a whole bunch of different things. It changes the uh, the look of ships. Uh, you get all these crazy skins that people make. Uh, I don't like them. Uh, I like just the standard thing. Some of them are quite good, um, but some of them, I mean, look at this. It changes the Yamato to this crazy looking thing. Uh, all kinds of uh, different types of mods. I, I prefer the realistic looking ones. I don't like the uh, the anime ones or the ones that are really far out looking, um, but uh, I don't use any of these uh, just because I like, the, I like the ones that are in-game currently. Um, the other ones that we could take off the rust... Uh, you know, if you have a weak computer, you can compress the textures to different things like that. Um, now, here's the tweaks. Now, here's are the big ones. These are the ones I highly, highly recommend you, you use, guys. Um, so, under the tweaks section, 
fog remover. This is a big one. So what fog remover does is it just, it, it's exactly like it sounds. Uh, it removes the fog. Uh, a lot of times in some of these uh, maps, there's so much haze that at longer range, it's, it's difficult to even see the enemy ship you're shooting at. And this removes that haze and that fog and makes everything nice, crystal clear. Uh, it'll take a little bit to get used to if you've never used it before because islands and whatnot will appear uh, without that haze and fog. They kind of appear closer. Uh, so will it take some getting used to, guys, if you've never used it before? But uh, once you get used to it, it's definitely the way to go. Um, Anti-glare, it just takes off exactly like, it's, like it sounds. It takes off the, the glare from the sun and whatnot. Uh, training room enabler. This one, if you've ever watched some of my other videos, and I'm in a training room, like uh, later in this video, as a matter of fact, you'll see uh, me in a training room. Um, this just enables that, so you can go into a training room, and you can queue up any ship in the game. Uh, if you've ever wanted to shoot at a Yamato and to see if you could Citadel him or uh, different things like that, you can load up all these any ship in the game. You can load them up in there and uh, just try them out. and Or you can't try them out, but you can shoot at them or fight against them. You can make them where they just sit there and they don't do anything, or you can make them active like a regular, like if you're in a co-op battle. Uh, I highly recommend Training Room. Um, because that will you can really learn a lot from in there. Uh, so I really recommend that. Uh, enables the ability to record battle replays. The next one I use, and all that does is just it's exactly like it sounds. It saves your replays, so you can um, you know go back and look if you think maybe um, you made a mistake in a game or anything like that. Uh, you can replay your battle and just. Uh, you know, go through it and see what, what you did wrong, what you could have done better. Or for me, since I make videos, uh, I oftentimes will, you know, record them off of replays. Um, so that's a big thing I use. And then you have the region changer I don't use, but uh, it lets you log into the different servers. Uh, again, I don't play on any other servers, though, so uh, I don't use it. Then your FPS limiter, again, I don't use that, but that'll limit, it'll lock your FPS so it won't go over that. Um, and then that's all the uh, uh, mods I use, guys. And then, of course, you have some more down here, uh, different external apps for, like, stats and whatnot. Uh, I don't use any of those, and I don't use any of the full packages because if you click on any of these, they will mess with a lot of the other mods you had selected. So I don't use any of those either. Uh, so there it is, guys. There's Aslan's Mod Pack. And those are the specific mods that I use uh, whenever I play World of Warships. And I, I really highly recommend the mods that I use. Um, a lot of my buddies use the exact same mods that I do. Um, and they're just, they're great. I highly, highly recommend them. Uh, I can't say that enough. All right, guys. And there is my guide to uh, all the mods that I use. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I get asked this question a lot. And again, I was going to just make this into a video of... Uh, all the tips and tricks you can do in World of Warships to get better at the game. Uh, but again, this video here alone was pushing almost 30 minutes, so uh, I had to uh, just go ahead and make this its standalone thing. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I hope everybody learned something. Um, I really recommend uh, all the mods I picked out, like I was saying. Um, and so please, if you liked uh, if you liked the video and you like my other videos, my streaming, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is Ironhide X. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in battle next time.